Billy and welcome back to Proper PE lesson number six. This is your PE lesson following the national curriculum that you can do at home, in your living room, just like me. Okay, so for today's lesson, you will need a pair of socks and a frying pan. Okay, so with a frying pan, best to speak to your grown-ups and ask them about which one to use. They wouldn't, you wouldn't want to use one that they're not happy with you using. So make sure you speak to your grown-ups at home. Okay, so frying pan, pair of socks, and you've got one minute to grab those items, starting from now! Off you go! <laughs> pan and your socks. We don't need our frying pan for now, you can put that to the side. And with our socks, like we've done before, put them together at the top, roll them like you're growing up to do with a pair of your socks, into a ball, like so. Once you've got your ball, don't need that for now, you can put that to the side, okay? Put that to the side. Brilliant! So, it's time to get nice and warm, start our proper PE lesson today. What we're going to do today is Monsters Inc. Something we've done before. If you haven't done it, don't worry. If you have, hopefully you'll remember from last time. So, to start off with, we are going to train to be a monster by training our scary feet. So, nice and quick with our scary feet, scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. Moving on the spot. Excellent. That's our scary feet. If I shout out, a grown up's coming, we need to freeze. Keep looking around with our eyes just to make sure that the grown-up has gone. Once I'm happy the grown-up's gone, then we'll carry on, okay? So, we've got our scary feet and we've got freezing because the grown-up's coming. And also, if I shout out, watch out, there's a kid! Gonna jump to the floor and get down into this position and stay really, really still. Okay, back on your feet. Excellent at home. We're all ready. Ready to get warm. Okay, show me with your scary feet then. Scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. Move those feet really fast. Scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. Get down, the kid's coming! Hold it. Hold it. And up we get again. Scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. Brilliant, move those scary feet. And freeze. God, I was coming. Just watching. Staying really still. Excellent. There's our first free done. Brilliant job. Okay, so gonna add some house now. So if I say reach for the sky, we're going up, say down low, going down, reach for the sky, down low, reach for the sky. So we're doing that, okay? And at some stage, I'm gonna add our roar in. Can you practice your roar at home for me? Practice it for me. Excellent, big roar! Which we're gonna do in a little while, okay? Are we all ready? So, scary feet again. Move those scary feet. Move those scary feet. Excellent, up to the sky. Up low, up to the sky. Down low, up to the sky. Down low, get down, the kid's coming. Brilliant, hold it for me. Excellent, nice and still. And up we go again. Those scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. Up to the sky, down low, up to the sky, down low. Freezing adults there. Oh gosh, hopefully they're gonna go. 
Take it for ages to go on this one. And they've gone. Excellent. I think it's time to practice our roar. One, two, three. Roar! Excellent job, everybody. Hopefully you are nice and warm. Your oxygen, your blood running through your veins, pumping through your body to get your muscles ready. Brilliant job on our warm-up, everybody. Dab statue. Hold it, hold it. Hold it for me. Other way. Hold that statue. Good pirate statue. Ah! What's a pirate's favourite shop? Ah, goss. Excellent. Okay. It's time for our skill station this week. Now, as it's getting sunnier, as we're in turn five at school, it's tennis season. Okay, so grab your frying pan. Grab your ball, your sock, and we're going to do some tennis. Excellent. So, to start with, I'm going to teach you how to hold your frying pan, your racket, properly. So, put your ball down for a minute. I'm going to put this on the floor, just like so. So, I want you with your hand, your strongest hand, the hand you always write with. I write with my right hand, which is why I'm waving at you. I want you to make a tick, just like mine. There's my tick. Brilliant. Okay. And then you're going to put the palm of your hand, this bit here, on the handle right at the bottom, like so. And then you're going to pick it up, put your fingers below and your thumb below. And you're holding the racket, your fry pan, just like that. I'm going to show you again up here. I'm just going to hold it like this just so you can see. So, tick with your hands, your palm pointing towards your fry pan, your racket, right at the bottom. Down there, put your thumb across, put your fingers across, and hold it. And you should be able to have it in a chopping wood position like mine. Can you chop some wood for me? Chop those trees, chop the wood. Excellent. So, let's practice that at home, just to remember how to hold it. Good. I'm going to put it there, like it's on the floor. So, you need your tick. And your palm needs to go at the bottom or the top. Bottom, yeah, it should be at the bottom, good. And then you roll your fingers round underneath and your thumb, and it should be in a chopping wood position. Chop some wood. Excellent. Chop that wood. Brilliant. Okay, I'll give you a challenge now. You have 10 seconds to see how many pieces of wood you can chop. Are you ready? Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, zero. Brilliant job at home. Hopefully, your frying pan, your racket is still in that position, in the same position as we started with. Okay? Brilliant. Now, to grab your tennis ball, your socks. Good. So here it is. So we're going to balance. So we're going to put the socks on top of your frying pan like that. Brilliant. You should still be able to chop the wood, remember? Go, put it on top, and you're gonna hold it and balance for me. Just balance there, standing still, keep your arm really straight, and just balance. If it falls off, don't worry, just pick it back up, put it back on your frying pan, just balancing. Now this will be really easy for some of you at home. This will be a challenge for some of you, that's okay. This is too easy for you. I want you to move. Oh, mine's fallen off. That happens, you see. It does happen if you're not concentrating. You're going to move your arm slowly towards your body and move it away. Move your arm slowly towards your body and move it away. Brilliant. So hopefully, lots of people challenging themselves with this tricky challenge at home now. Excellent. Keep going, guys. Keep moving. Fantastic. Take your ball off and just relax. Shake your arms up. You frying pan, whack it in your hand and your sock. Make sure your sock's back into a ball position. There we go, into a ball shape. Good. And put it back on top. So this time, we are going to do a different challenge. Still balancing with our tennis ball, our socks on our frying pan. This time, I want you to walk around. So you're walking and you're trying to keep socks on top of your frying pan, tennis ball on your racket, okay? Trying your best. That gets too easy for you, same again. 
Move your arm out, move your arm in while you're walking. Move your arm out, move your arm in, move your arm out, move your arm in. Okay, we ready? We're gonna give that a go for about 20 seconds now. Okay, you choose the one you want to do. We ready? Steady. Go, walking for me. Move your arm out, move your arm in, out and in. Brilliant, keep going for me. Out and in. Oh, just keep it still and walk. It's up to you, your choice. Another five seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Brilliant job. Take your sock, your ball off. Okay. So, you've shown me now that you know how to hold your racket, your ten tennis racket, your frying pan. So remembering, tick, over the top, wrap your fingers around, wrap your thumb around. You know you're right because you can chop wood. Excellent. You've shown me you can balance. Okay? Now, if you found this tricky, that's okay. Just practice more as we finish the video. The more you practice, the better you'll get at doing things. There we go. You've shown me you can do that. Show me you know what you're doing. Brilliant. Now, for our last challenge today, we're going to start using the frying pan like a tennis racket. We're going to start hitting the ball up, like so. All I want you to do is just one hit. If you can catch it, brilliant. If you want to let it drop and pick it up, that's fine too. I just want you to hit it with the frying pan. Now, we're trying to hit it with the big circle. Now on a tennis racket, that would be your strings area. So on my frying pan, it's my big circle. That's where we hit a tennis ball with our tennis racket, frying pan with our socks, okay? So you can start off with a ball on there and hit it up if you want to, or you want a trickier challenge, you might drop it on there and then hit it, okay? Brilliant. Now we are moving our, our frying pan a lot, but if you are in your front room, my TV's behind me. No one in my house is going to like it if I hit that TV. So you've got to be very careful. Best to come away from the TV so you can't hit it. Okay? Nobody would like that. Your grown-ups won't like that. Okay? So, challenges. Hit upwards and catch. Or hit, let it go on the floor, pick it back up again. Okay? Let's give that a go. We do that three times at home. I'm going to do it three times while you're trying. Off we go. One, two, three. If you're just finishing at home, just finish that one. Brilliant. Now, some of you might have hit really, really high. My ball's gone all the way over there. Now, when I did it, I didn't move my frying pan, my tennis racket a lot. It was only a little bit. Let me get my ball quick. There we go, I got my ball. So I only moved it a little bit to hit it, okay? Just to hit it like this, we don't need a big motion. We don't need a big swing, okay? If you do a big swing, it's gonna go far away like mine did. So, another three for me, all right? And I don't want you to take your racket all the way back. Just little movements upwards, towards the ball. You ready? The ball, and one, two, three. Okay, if you're still going at home, just finish the one you're doing. Brilliant job. Now, that would have been a bit too easy for some of you. It would have been a bit tricky for some of you. That's okay. It doesn't matter. You just need to practice it. It was a bit tricky. So, next challenge. I want to see if you can do two without the ball dropping. All right? So, it looks like this. One, two. Good. And again. One, two. There we go. So, that's your next challenge at home. Can you hit the ball two times without it dropping? Can you do that? Let's give it a go. Two, one, two, oh, mine's falling on the floor. Keep going at home, keep hitting it, not big actions. One, two, good. One, two, one, two. Now, if you're finding that too easy, see how many you can do. Can you do more than two? There we go, I've done loads. Excellent. You can choose at home, it's two or more than two. It's your choice. If your ball's not in, if your socks aren't into a ball, just change it again. And if you've had to move your hand off of the frying pan, remember it's our tick across, thumb around, fingers around, and you can chop wood. Let's go. How many can you do? How many can you do? Falls on the floor. That's fine. Pick it up. Let's do it again. 
Good. Excellent. Okay. Last challenge for the day. Show me you can do that now. I'm going to give you some time. All right. I'm not going to tell you how long. I'm going to give you some time. And I want to see how many of these you can do. And then you're going to tell me, scream as loud as you can so I can hear it. Okay? Are you ready? Make sure you've got the chopping wood position. Make sure your ball, your socks are into a ball. Make sure your frying pan, your racket is in the right position. Are you ready to go? Drop your ball and go. Good at home. Keep going. Remember if it drops, pick it up. Just keep counting for me. Keep counting. Keep knocking it up. Keep hitting those socks with your frying pan. The ball with the tennis racket. Good. Keep going. Five more seconds to get some points. Four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent job. Brilliant, everybody. That was our skill station. And we've started our tennis. So now you know how to hold a tennis racket properly. You know how to balance with a ball on it. And you know how to start hitting the ball with a little bit of power, not a lot. Excellent start on our tennis station, everybody at home. Well done. So you don't need your frying pan and your tennis ball, your socks now. Let's put them to the side. We're going to play very quickly a game of Simon Says. So Simon Says, touch your toes. Simon Says, touch your nose. Simon Says, touch your shoulders. Simon Says, touch your head. Simon Says, touch your knees. Now, if you haven't played Simon Says before, if I say one and I don't say Simon Says, you're not allowed to do it. So don't do it if I don't say Simon Says. Okay? Let's carry on. Simon Says, touch your tummy. Simon Says, touch your ears. Simon Says, touch your knees. Touch your head. Oh, I hope you didn't do it at home. I didn't say Simon Says. Remember, you've got to say Simon Says. Simon Says, run on the spot. Simon Says, do some star jumps. Simon says, stand still. Simon says, touch your ears. Simon says, touch your toes. Touch your nose. Oh, did I trick you again? I oh, love it when I trick you at home. Brilliant. Okay, it's time for our balance station. And today we're gonna to do some yoga animal poses and some different poses for yoga during our balance station. Okay, so we get some animals and some other things. So, first one I want you to do today is a bird pose. So. We're gonna go on our tiptoes. We're gonna spread our arms, which are our wings. We're gonna hold that position. Okay, so I'll show you again. On your tiptoes, spread your arms like your wings. And hold that position for me. Four, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent job. Relax for me. Next one's gonna be a candle. So on our knees. Just like so, I'm gonna do it on my side, as you can see. Feet down at the back, and we're gonna pull our hands together, just like so. I'll move around again so you can see. And we're gonna hold that position. Hopefully this is a nice and easy one for you. I'll hold it for 10 seconds, because it's a bit easier. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. While I'm on the floor, we're going to stay on the floor. And we're going to do a cobra, which is a type of snake. Okay? So, we're going to move forward like this. On our tummies. Put our hands down. Flat on the floor. And then I'm going to bring my head up like so. Okay? So, in that position. I'm just going to do it on my side so you can see. Like so in that position. Okay? Hold that for me for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Brilliant. Next one is going to be our frog. So we're going to stay on the floor. What we're going to do is well, we'll, we'll stand up slightly and then we'll crouch down into this position here. Bend our knees, put our hands flat and hold that position just like a bouncing frog. Okay, are we ready? that position for me and we're gonna hold it for 10 seconds 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 
Zero, brilliant. And our last yoga pose today in our balance station is going to be a kite. So standing up tall for me, shake everything off. Your back might be hurting a little bit, that's okay. Shake it all off, brilliant. Okay, standing together, hands up high, and we're gonna put them over our head and bend them into a kite position. Just like so, you should be able to feel it in your side. Just here. Show you again, hands together, bend no, bend to the side and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, zero. And the other way for me. And hold it for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Brilliant. Great job on our balance station with all our different yoga poses. Well done, everybody. Scary feet like Monster Sink again. Scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. Oh, and I was coming freeze. Scary feet again, let's go. They've gone, scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. Child, come in, get down. And hold it there. Hold in that position. Excellent, and on your feet. Well done, everybody. Okay, it's time for our five minute workout as usual. And to start off with, we're gonna do nice and easy star jumps. Just reminding you, star jumps, nice and wide, just like so. Everybody ready at home? Okay, our 30 seconds starts now. Let's go, star jumps, working nice and hard for me. Move those arms, move those legs, brilliant. Good job at home, everybody. Keep going. Fantastic job. I love doing star jumps. Hope you do too. Keep going. Brilliant. 10 seconds to go. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good job. Next one on our five minute workout is going to be sumo squats. So we've done squats before. Squats where we squat down into the position, making sure we keep our back nice and straight and our bum sticking out. But these are sumo squats. So for sumo squats, you need to have your legs a bit wider, like a sumo wrestler. And we're gonna squat down doing the same thing, squatting into position for 30 seconds, okay? Are you ready at home? Let's do it, 30 seconds starts. Now let's squat. Squatting down, keeping that back straight, keeping yourself looking forward. Brilliant. Squatting down at home. Make sure you stick that bum out. Excellent. Squatting as low as you can. 10 seconds to go. Keep going for me. And five, four, three, two, one. Zero, excellent, two down, three to go. Next one is our plank. I love the plank. So, remember on the plank, down we go. A bit like a press up position, isn't it? So you can use your hands if you want to, and your feet up, or, your choice, you might want to use your hands and your elbows. So your elbows in that position. It's your choice, really. It's up to you at home. We ready? 30 seconds to do that. Starting from now, let's do it. Just hold that position. You should feel this in your tummy muscles. Brilliant, just holding still for me. Holding that still. Make sure your back's nice and straight. Looking forward. Excellent, at home. Keep going for me. Brilliant job. 10 seconds to go. Keep doing it, excellent. And five seconds to go, keep going. Keep holding that position. And we're done, excellent. Shake your whole body, shake that one off. Good. Then we're gonna do some Superman positions. We're gonna go down for this one, back on the floor, into a Superman position, lying down. So, it's called Superman because we're gonna Move our hand forward or arm forward like we're flying, like Superman. And our feet up at the back, like Superman. You might want to put your arm just across your back there. Make it easy for you. 
Everybody ready at home? Into that position. If it gets a bit tricky, just put your feet down. It's okay. Keep working hard for me. 30 seconds. Start. Right about now. Holding that position for me. Again, you should feel this in your tummy muscles. Making our tummy muscles nice and strong. It's really, really important. Just holding that, pretending to fly. I'm gonna change my arm now. Let's change your arm. Here we go. Flying with the other arm. Excellent. Keep going for me. Less than 10 seconds to go. Holding that position. Five seconds to go. Nearly there. And we are done. Excellent. On to the last one now. Stand it up. Good, good, good. Last one now is just run in on the spot with some punches. Okay? Should be brilliant this one. Remember we did some of these last week when we did the jab? So if you remember from last week, you'll be an expert. Are you ready? Run on the spot, 30 seconds. Last one, lots of big effort in our five minute workout. Starts, now go. Run on the spot, just jabbing for me. Just jabbing forwards. Keep it going. Moving those arms, moving those legs. Getting really fit at home, excellent. Keep moving, keep moving for me. Brilliant job. 10 seconds to go. Keep working, we're nearly done. We're nearly finished. Five. Keep going for me. And we're done, brilliant. Shake it all off. Give yourself a pat on the back, both sides, and a little clap. Whew, I'm out of breath. Worked really hard. I hope you did too at home. Well done. Five minute workout done. Good job. Brilliant effort today, everybody at home. Fantastic session on proper PE, lesson number six. It's time for our dance party. Just before our dance party, I hope you're all enjoying being back, working hard at home, doing lots of schoolwork. So everybody at home, keep working hard for me. Fantastic job. Well done to the parents that are working hard to get your kids to do that as well. Hopefully proper PE is helping and giving you that PE lesson from the national curriculum. Okay, time for a dance party and a song that I know the Dolphins class absolutely love. So hopefully you really enjoy this one. Dolphins, I'm gonna enjoy this massively. Are you ready? This is Saved by the Bow. Let's do it. Get ready. Waving those arms for me. Move those feet. Move those arms up, brilliant. And down. Ah, she can. Roll those arms. Dolphins love this bit, I know. Ah, shaky stuff. Jump in. Say by the bell. Guitar time, show me that guitar. I want you to freestyle on this, show me your best guitar moves. I'm gonna go down. Move it around. Get ready again, here we go. Sit by the inside. Turn it around. Here we go. Let's do it again. Love this one. Shake it for me, keep going. Roll those arms again. Shake that stuff. Shake that stuff for me. Jumping up. Sit by the bed. Guitar again, show me. Show me that guitar, and let's finish off. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Turn it around. And finish with one of those. Fantastic job, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed 
Proper PE, lesson number six this week. I've enjoyed it, I hope you have. One last thing before you go. This week, it's new. I have done a different video for your grown-ups to show you how good they are at their tennis skills with their frying pan and their socks. So, when you finish this video, get your grown-ups to try the adults challenge. If you want a tricky challenge, you can try the big kids challenge. Up to you. Wild and everybody, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Wild and everybody.